Pilot Wave is an effect controller. It can sequence the parameters on over a hundred different pedals, including those from Maris, Chase Bliss, and Strymon. This video is going to show you how to change presets and also how to use each of the different sequence playback modes. Pilot Wave lets you access 16 presets right from the pedal. To call up a preset, hold down the tap button until one of the LEDs starts flashing. The LEDs let you know which preset number you're using. When just one LED is blinking, those are presets 1 through 8. When all the LEDs except one are blinking, those are presets 9 through 16. Pressing the step button advances you one preset. As you'll see here, we're going through presets 1 through 8, and then when we get to 9, just one LED will be off and the rest on, indicating that you're in presets 9 through 16. When you get to the preset you want, you press the tap button again to engage it. In this case, we're going to select preset number 4. While that sequence is running, again, we can hold down the tap button until one of the LEDs starts blinking. We can step through the presets again, and if you want to go backwards, you hold down the step button for at least two seconds, and it reverses direction. So now we're going to step backwards down to preset number one, and then again, you press the tap button to engage that preset. The first preset mode is called two-step. In two-step mode, you step through the sequence using the step button. But instead of advancing once each time the button is pressed, Pilot Wave advances one step when you press down and another when you release. The key to using two step mode is to hold down the step button long enough to hear each step. Two step provides a much more natural and intuitive way to play along with a live band in shifting tempo. You control the speed of the sequence rather than it controlling you. In one step mode, you step through the sequence using the step button, but Pilot Wave advances one step only each time you press, not when you release. One step mode is useful for changing sounds during a song and stepping through virtual presets. In tap tempo mode, Pilot Wave continually loops through the sequence. Tap tempo sequences are started and stopped using the step button. You can change the tempo by tapping the tap button at least two times. The tap interval per measure is the time between the last two taps. You can tap in a new tempo whether or not a sequence is playing. In one-shot mode, Pilot Wave runs through the sequence once each time the step button is pressed. Pressing the step button again while a one-shot sequence is playing stacks another one-shot. In other words, if you press the step button three times quickly, Pilot Wave will play back the one-shot sequence three times in a row. Holding the step button keeps the one-shot sequence looping. You can change the tempo by pressing the tap button at least twice. The tap interval per measure is the time between the last two taps. And again, you can tap in a new tempo whether or not a sequence is playing. Pilot Wave can also sync to MIDI Clock which lets you synchronize sequences with hundreds of other effects as well as drum machines, synthesizer sequencers, DAWs, lighting rigs, and more. We have a separate video on MIDI clock mode. With a rebound type sequence, pressing the step button advances toward the end of the sequence at your tempo. 
When the sequence hits the end, pilot wave stops and waits. Releasing the button retreats back towards step one. You can press and release midway through the sequence for even groovier effects. You can change the tempo by pressing the tap button at least twice. With a rebound saw up sequence, pressing the step button advances toward the end of the sequence at your tempo. And when the sequence hits the end, it stops and waits. When you release the button, it jumps back to step one. With a rebound saw down sequence, pressing the step button jumps you right to the end of the sequence where Pilot Wave waits for you to release. Releasing the button retreats towards step one at your tempo. Split mode allows unprecedented control over sequence playback with a single button. Initially pressing the step button advances toward the halfway point. Until it gets there, releasing the button retreats towards step one. Once the halfway point is reached, playback stops. Releasing the button then advances toward the end of the sequence. If the button is pressed during the second half, the sequence retreats toward the halfway point and stops if it reaches that point. When the sequence gets to the last step, it proceeds to step one and stops. You can change tempo by pressing the tap button at least twice. Head over to stepaudio.net for more information.